Hey, thanks for hanging back out with us again today. Um, I wanted to show you something kind of cool. Um, if you look at the DLP website, um, under their flake category, you'll see that all their flake, all dead on flake, is high heat PET, which means you can put it into hot plastic. But there, if you notice there, there's a couple that are a low heat. And those, if you put them in the hot plastic, they'll curl up and they'll have no effect at all. What we wanted to show you today is how we use um, some of those low heat flake in uh, our pores. Um, what we're going to do, you'll see there is, in, if you noticed, it said uh, for a skin pouring application, so it proper word is capsule. We'll be pouring uh, to show you how we do that. And we're going to use the uh, Angling AI seven and a quarter biggins so you can really see it and uh we're gonna get some plastic heated up now you know if you've seen some of our other videos you know we like to pour the head first uh with our top color so first thing we're gonna do is we have some uh remount plastic we're gonna use for the other stuff so i'm gonna heat up that remount and we're gonna pour that head real quick then we'll get right to the uh um capsule pouring so hope you like it all right so now if you've seen any of our videos you know i like to pour the heads first with just a real thin skin pour so it kind of like blends the colors instead of a, it and it softens the transition instead of going like this color this color this color it kind of like has a radiant a gradient um blend from colors now the way i like to do it if you want to watch just real quick we're just going to pour these heads real fast this is just some remount color that we had from a video a couple of days ago just pour it in dump it out this isn't the point of the video yet this is just some remount I want we had to throw in there to get it going and then we'll get to it We're doing two, just two of them. So uh, that means there's obviously four sides. So we'll just get this done real quick. Last one. Swish it around. If you haven't seen our videos, then that's what we're doing just a nice little gradient bend right there it'll, it'll really blend all the colors together in the end <clears throat> all, right. all right now you can see we uh, uh, got all the heads colors poured in and now we're gonna heat up some clear just some regular plastic all nothing in it and we're, we're gonna skin pour capsule pour this whole body so let's show you how we do that all right now we're going to do a clear pour so we got our raw dead on plastics and uh now when you're heating dead on plastics when you're preparing plastic it's is just as important as everything else um that's like the actually the most important is to have your canvas perfect right so you do, when you mix and mixing it up you don't want to like mix it all aggressively stir that stuff you know nicely and not aggressive and because that incorporates more bubbles into it and stuff like that more air into it and then uh when you're heating plastic you got to hit the 350 conversion time but you don't got to hit it right away you build up in increments and you heat gradually and if you heat up gradually you'll have crystal clear plastic bubble free and no trouble and that's what we need when we're doing working with something 
like the flake we're using now because you want the light you want it to be as clear as possible to cascade the um the effects that the um flake is going to have so very slowly one minute at a time and i just do one minute at a time until it, you start to see it turn and then just 30 seconds at a time it might take longer but your end results will always be more clear you know it everything about it i mean it holds colors better it cascades through the uh the light can uh, shine through it better it's clear it won't yellow it doesn't bubble i mean there's so many benefits to just take your time and heating it up here's the first minute i didn't do anything to it but you want to still mix it nice and slow and then Back in for another minute. And you do that, you do that all the way until you hit that 350 conversion temp. After that, you can play with the heat up and down, you know, for how you're pouring. But to get to that 350 conversion temp, take your time. All right. Now, if you've been watching our videos where you're going to pour capsule, we've been doing a lot of them. So, uh, we're just gonna get right to it now when you're pouring capsules remember you want your warms mold <laughs> your molds warm and your plastisol really hot and we're just gonna fill it in start i like to start down there and just run it down and run it out let it hang for a second that's it we're going to do that real quick to all of these. There's another one. <clears throat> and then the other side. I guess it don't matter which way you go from. I do, do it both ways. I just like to run it away from me and then back makes that nice even transition nice even uh pour i mean nice flow down and then back oh. all right there's that all right so now you can't see it because dead on plastic is so clear but we have a, a capsule and then our head capsule okay so now first one we're going to do this opal in a 0 0.040 really really cool yeah that's very cool flake but very temperamental you you can't have hot on it so these molds are they're a little bit a little bit more than warm i mean they're you wouldn't want to pick one up and hang on to it very long you know but they're not hot just enough to keep the tack on it now the way i like to do it just put some and this is also important to note if you have a fan on turn it off because this will blow everywhere but see just get some on a q-tip and then just kind of spin your q-tip up and down it just wherever you want a little bit of sparkle it's it's real hard to see because it, it it's so fine but it is splash it around the effects it makes in the end is just crazy yeah let me get this up a little bit all right a little bit in this one just kind of flop it in the belly and stuff wherever you want this randomly looks good okay i think that'll work so there's the opal 
And then we also have, we're going to throw just a little bit of the disco. And look at that. That's kind of like the opal, only like smoked background, you know, so you get, you see it better. But this is a little bit finer, 0.025. Now we're going to do this the same way. Just get a little on their Q-tip. And just kind of random spots. I don't want to do it as much because it will overwhelm the other one. Oop, that's a lot. And just kind of shake, shake it back and forth. Shimmy, shake me, shake it. All right. It clumped up right there. Did you see that? Darn it. All right. Now, as you see, we got it all clamped up, put together, and now you just fill it in like a regular pour. You can uh, do like your clear um, belly, a vein on top, uh, or you can do any kind of random colors you want. And this will just add extra effect to whatever you're doing. So what we're going to do is the clear that we had the... Just a minute. All right, the clear that we had that we um, cap supported, we're gonna uh, warm this back up, and uh, we're gonna add a little bit of the dead-on plastic snow shine, and just give it that extra little sparkle. Um, so we're gonna heat this up and snow shine it, and then we're gonna fill it, pour the uh, bellies of that real quick. All right. So now. We got our snow shine and we got our molds about 200 degrees and we're just gonna fill that belly in right to the top of the hook slot well, like we always do it now we got our plastic you know what let's go all the way in here real quick we're gonna go right up in the tail of this one all right now our plastic <clears throat> is about about 300 degrees since our molds are hot we've got a cooler plastic and that'll help that glitter not curl too you don't want to still don't want your plastic to go too much too high too too hot okay and now we have a remount color we're gonna pour a little vein in there and then we're gonna have that head color we did first uh, we'll top it off with that so uh, we're gonna bump that heat up a little bit for the next layer and we'll be right back with that all right this is the color we're going to use for the vein just beautiful it's like a blue crawl with some hyper shift in there it's really just some remail that we have. Okay, so now we got our vein hot. Our molds are still about 220. Okay, now we're going to start in the middle of the hook slot and work it toward the tail and then toward the front. Now, when you get to the front, I like to stop it right where that shad dot would be. We don't have a shad dot on this but right where it would be and let it just flow to where it's gonna go and it usually stops right mid eye there go toward the back and then work it toward the front right about there would be a shed down all right now just the heat of the mold is gonna make that flow where it's gotta go now you remember the head pour we poured originally, the very first thing? So we're gonna reheat that, and we're gonna pour that and fill this all up. We'll be right back. You guys, golly, look at that color. Look at that. I wish I knew how to recreate this. This is just some 
uh, pucks I had laying around. Goodness sakes. All right. So, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna top those molds off now. And we have the molds up to about 320, which is our finishing template I like to have it at. And you're just gonna fill them in. I like to start at one end and just let it flow on its own the best it can. Woo. Don't overflow it, dummy. See all those flake coming through from the sprinkling they get kind of everywhere when you do it but adds a cool effect it does add a cool effect just tap these off and about there should do her. Drip, drip, drip. Uh. Alright, so now we're gonna let those hang out on that burner. And like I said, my finishing temp I like to have about 320 on the burner. So it's set there. We're gonna let it sit cook for about 10 minutes and then we're gonna kill the heat and let it cool down gradually and then uh we're gonna tear them open and see what we did. We'll be right back. we're back and they're cooled off enough I think so we're gonna tear them open and let's see how we did let's move it over here so you guys can check this out mm -hmm. uh, 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 uh. oh see that see all that sparkly through it oh. kind of hard to see isn't it oh there we go there's some good spot oh cool we're gonna get these out of here let's check this one out. oh that's where it blotched up on me right there Cool. All right, we're gonna get some eyes on these real quick and then we're gonna take them outside and show you what they look like. All right, here we are outside. Can you see all that? It adds a little cool effect to it. Those colors, jeez. Take some nice pucks to do this with. Alright. Very cool. Alright, well that's that's one technique on how we can use it. Um I like the capsule pour and then sprinkle it in. There's another couple other ideas that we can do with it and uh, a couple things I've done. So if you guys would like to see some other stuff, just leave a message in the comments and uh, I can show you some other techniques with it. But uh, we appreciate you watching and uh, of course, as always, like, subscribe and share this and try to get our numbers up there so we can get up to our first thousand subscribers. And uh, we appreciate everybody, and until next time, 